We finally have some news for Jurassic Park survival, with new images plus concept art, and information about a delay, and maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to our latest episode regarding Jurassic Park Survival, the video game that has been on everyone's mind for the last six months. As back in December of 2023, we concluded that Jurassic Year with the news that we were getting our first proper horror game, outside of a cartoonish looking VR game, in the Jurassic franchise with Jurassic Park Survival, with a trailer that teased loads of possibilities, the return of a certain Velociraptor from the freezer in the kitchen scene, and much more chaos to come with it. But today, six months after that trailer, we finally have an update, because while last weekend we did not get a new trailer through the GamesCon, we had some information that explains why that was not the case, as it seems that the game will be suffering from a major delay, even to perhaps 2026. Now, an article recently came out that showcased four new images, actually five, two of them are concept art, and three of them are in-game shots, alpha footage to be precise, not beta. However, we first are going to discuss the news of the delaying of the game. Originally, with some information that came out not too long ago that pre-orders were available on PlayStation and other consoles, there was speculation that we should be getting the game within the year of 2024, which makes sense considering that we already have our first trailer. However, a lot of behind-the-scenes matters have come to light, and with them, has confirmed our fears of a delay. But not all is lost, as the delay seems mainly due to the fact that they want to give us the best game possible. With information from the article stating how they want to not only explore historic landmarks as seen in Jurassic Park, but we will also be seeing new locations of the island that we have not seen of Jurassic Park as of yet which means we could be seeing locations such as other enclosures, like maybe the Baryonyx enclosure, the Segisaurus enclosure, and many others, and even we could be seeing some security locations, maybe some secret labs of Dr. Wu's perhaps, or maybe even John Hammond's island residence perhaps, just like he did in the novels. But there's loads of opportunities, and I'm glad to hear that they are putting in the effort to showcase more of the island and not just the same places we've seen multiple times. Because sometimes it will get a little bit annoying if we don't get to see something new. And I'm glad that they are talking about it. Also, one thing that they mention is that the game will not be having the main character be an action hero or someone who is experienced. She is a regular person, just like you or I, and uh, like us, surviving is not going to be easy, as it explains that the game will have a system that will allow us to basically have to sneak around every predator's environment as every moment in the jungles of Isla Nublar a threat could be lurking within the long grass or even in the trees as we've seen many of times before and even in the open fields where you feel most safe as you can see everything even there it won't be safe. And I'm glad to hear this because we always get these games where you expect us to be like, okay, they're going to be able to survive because like they're going to have a back history of basically they're fully safe, they have are mil ex-military, or they've dealt with things that are just as bad as dinosaurs. But no, this time we're getting a character that is fully going to basically be like one of the guests in Jurassic World who has no normal advantages in this. She's basically having to survive with smarts instead of experience, which I definitely say I am looking forward to, but now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about this delay, which I gotta say I'm glad that we are getting a little bit of delay because considering the fact that all the behind the scenes situations with going on, especially with Saber, the company in charge of this game, I think it's definitely a good choice. 
all the way to 2026. It is a little unfortunate, but I must say I'd rather have a delayed game than a rushed game. And I'm pretty sure most of you can agree, but leave in the comments what you feel about that. But before we go, guys, we have some images, in-game and concept art images, to look at. So, let's get into them straight away. And I think that the best option of images to start with is one that's going to be the most shocking, probably. And it is this in-game image of not one, but three velociraptors. Now, all us Jurassic Park fans know that there were originally three eight on the island before the big one was introduced, before it killed all but two, leaving a total of three velociraptors alive and well during the events of Jurassic Park, minus the nest that was discovered by Alan Grant on his way back to the visitor center after the main road attack. However, two of those raptors we had seen uh, fully dead, and one of them was presumed to um, die a p cold death and of course, the one that died a cold death, or presumed to have died a cold death, is not going to be the case. As the first teaser for this game made it very clear that the raptor that was in the fridge, locked by Lex and Tim, is no longer trapped in there, and is going to terrorize our main character, whose name I can't remember on the top of my head, but if I do remember afterwards, I'll put her name in the video. But, this raises a lot of questions, because... How are there three here? And there's a few options here, actually. First is do what Jurassic Park the game did and have it that Dr. Wu and InGen had brought more from Isla Sorna, which I gotta say, that one's kind of like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Even John Hammond himself would not do that, especially considering the state we see the raptors in in Jurassic Park where they're in a literal box and it's barely able to fit one, let alone all three of them, it's it's unsafe, especially with the big one after all. It was it literally just killed a bunch of the other ones. What do they think's gonna happen with it? Unless they terminated the big one, which if you know Novel Hammond and InGen as a whole, they wouldn't do that themselves either. So Realistically, that just doesn't work, and honestly is just a lazy excuse to have more raptors. They could have just kept it with one, but I guess they wanted more. Uh, another option is that they could use the raptor nest that Alan Grant and the kids had discovered on their way back to the visitor center during Jurassic Park. After all, in 1994, during the engine Isla Nublar cleanup operation with Dr. Wu, he had discovered the bodies and remains of young velociraptors so maybe it could be the case that these are some of the older ones from the nest or something but then again it just doesn't make sense due to timeline reasons so again that's something that doesn't make sense and if there's another way that they could do it i don't know but honestly guys this one kind of leaves me a little bit um, disappointed as I would have rather them spend more time with other creatures after all they are saying that we're going to be seeing new dinosaurs that we didn't see in the original Jurassic Park which means some of the ones that we didn't see on the tour might make their way into the game like maybe Segisaurus and with a little bit of break of continuity maybe even Baryonyx or something or maybe even Stegosaurus actually because those were dinosaurs that were planned for Jurassic Park originally and not all of them were on the island technically but I mean Jurassic is not known for keeping its history in check all the time neither is any other big franchise really so I'm pretty sure people could be forgiving on that but I think they should have done that rather than decide let's add more velociraptors or just keep the one velociraptor that would have been fine too one velociraptor is just as dangerous as a pack in many ways because it's a lot more careful when it's alone as described in the novels after all but I am excited this shot does look absolutely gorgeous already though the raptors do look very familiar they kind of look like the Jurassic World Evolution 2 models but maybe they use them as reference I don't know but let's move on to the next in-game footage, which is of Mr. DNA making a good old return, which I gotta say, 
I love that this image because it means we're going to get to explore the visitor center a bit more, see some old favorite spots, and maybe even we'll see some other spots that we didn't see. Because we don't know if we've seen the whole visitor center as of yet. We've only seen certain parts. So maybe there's other spaces that they haven't shown yet, or I don't know, maybe we have seen it all, but I doubt it. This is InGen after all. They always have something hiding. And we have one more in-game shot, which showcases the T-Rex in the background and most likely our main character from a POV perspective hiding behind a tree log. And I gotta say, this looks absolutely creepy and I love it. And also very, very beautiful. It really captures Isla Nublar in its horror aspects. And I love it. And it's definitely implying the way that they're describing she's not going to be someone who's going to be able to outrun the dinosaur or something. She's going to have to just make her way around it as carefully and as quietly as possible as they hunt her, try and hunt her down. Which I am all for. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. But we have two more images. These ones are of concept art. And the first one is again of Velociraptors chasing down our main character on a river in a very nice nod to the river raft sequence from the Jurassic Park novel. Also that was used in reference for Jurassic Park 3, but this time it looks like it's not going to be Spinosaurus or T-Rex as it was in the novel and in JP3. This time it looks like it's going to be Raptors, which I gotta say, Looks very, very interesting, and this concept art is absolutely beautiful, not gonna lie. And it looks like it is the same type of rafts that were in the novel, so I'm definitely excited for that. And maybe it could end with a situation with a T-Rex, which I would be all for. And finally, guys, one more image to close out. We have a image of a bunker, which... I don't know if this is the same bunker as the one in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It probably isn't, but it looks very similar, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen Fallen Kingdom in a little bit, so maybe it is a different one. But it looks absolutely good, and it definitely is teasing us going underground in the underground systems as we did in Jurassic Park the game, which was one of that game's biggest highlights for many people. It's still one of the best parts of that game, in my opinion. And if we get, and as we saw in the trailer, we will be going underground a little bit, but if we get to be in there a lot more, I think it'll be very eerie to see a certain dinosaur, or maybe dinosaurs, in there. Just hopefully some, no freaky, beady, soulless-eyed troodons again. Ugh, nightmare stuff. But guys, that is it for Jurassic Park Survival. Not all bet good, not all good news for everybody, but we still have some great news as well. I love these images here. They really are getting me more hyped. I want to talk about this a lot more. And if you want to see some of my previous videos, I do have a playlist located in my playlist section discussing all Jurassic Park survival stuff as of the moment, even a secret hint that we could be seeing more with the Velociraptor than we originally thought. More than just seeing three of them, maybe even a different raptor than we once thought it to be. But if you want to know more about that, I'd recommend checking out that video. Link of the playlist and the videos will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Maybe liking, subscribing, stay safe out there, and re and remember that you are all amazing. At and remember that you guys are amazing. Never forget that. Stay safe, and until the next one, guys, enjoy yourself.